Chuck Chav, Sierra Andrews Chips and Tips. Today we're going to go over how to replace your spool board and what tools you'll need to do that. You'll need a surface tool, you'll need a half inch router bit, and a 1764 drill bit, and we're going to show you in the upcoming video four easy operations on how to do this. So first operation is we're going to surface the spool board. First, we're going to surface the bottom of the spool board. Make sure you have your machine vacuum turned on while doing this process. Once the bottom is surfaced, then you'll want to flip it over. You may need a friend to help you. And once it's flipped over, you'll surface the top. Next, you're going to want to line up the spool board with your machine table. Surfacing both sides allows for more vacuum flow. Once you have that aligned, turn your vacuum back on, pick up your half inch tool for the countersink holes of the spool board. If you need to know where the bolt pattern holes are, you can refer to your drawing of your machine table and create your own program. Next, pick up your 1764th drill bit to drill the clearance holes for your bolts. While you still have the vacuum on, you can bolt down the spool board. Once everything's bolted down with the vacuum on, you can surface the top of the spool board and you should be good to go.